Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're Megan Moggs and in today's video we are actually leaving the beautiful island of Koh Lipe and we're heading south to Malaysia. So usually it's a pretty easy journey in dry season. It's just sort of a two hour or two and a half hour ferry straight to Langkawi. Um, but obviously we're here in rainy season so things aren't so simple. In this video we're sort of going to give you a realistic um, travel day, what it would be like to travel from Koh Lipe to Langkawi in rainy season. First step we have to get a one hour and a half ferry to the mainland. We got this the other day and honestly it was so choppy. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the worst journeys of my life, <laughs> it's I'll be too honest. bad, everyone was just closing their eyes, meditating, trying to get through. Um, and 90 minutes is a long time, so, yeah. you know, uh, we were thankful to get on dry land. And the weather's, as you can see behind us, is not looking particularly stable um, this morning. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit windy as well, you can see the plants in the background blowing around so I'm not sure how well that bodes for our journey but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see do us. what we can, we've had a small breakfast, yeah. lined the stomach but nothing too much. No um, coffee or anything like yeah. that to yeah, cause any stress, we're just going to sort of <laughs> okay. see how it goes. <laughs> But yeah, so in the next, yeah, we've got to go down and get the ferry for uh, 9.30. Also, we're staying at Mountain Resort in Koh Lupe and they're putting on sort of like free shuttle buses to take us to the ferry port, which is great with all of our things. Yeah, we'd really recommend staying here. And if you haven't watched our uh, previous video where we sort of take you through our um, our four days that we spent here in Koh Lupe, I'll go and check that out if you're planning I mean, on uh, coming to visit. Look at that colour of that water. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Insane. Yeah, just a little coral reef just off of our hotel. But yeah, so we'll see you on our way to the boat. The heavens have opened. Can make things a bit more interesting for today. Hopefully it's only a short shower, but I think our fears of a choppy boat rider being realised. is not quite as bad as the one that we had the other day. It's not very stable. No, and there's lots of people on it. Oh. So we're two modes of transport down. We're currently at the um, Thai-Malaysia border. The yeah, boat journey wasn't, wasn't too bad. too bad at all. It wasn't half as bad as the way there. We'll put some pics on the screen of... Uh, and then we sort of got out to the, at the terminal and the lady who we booked our transport with was waiting for us. So we just had a taxi with one other guy to the border. It took us about an hour and a half. Yeah. Pretty smooth journey. So yeah, we're just about to leave Thailand. Yeah, um, I don't think we're sort of too worried about this border crossing after the one that we did between Cambodia and Laos, which they said was like the most corrupt border crossing. Especially it's like we don't have to pay for a yeah. So the border crossing process was really painless. So easy. Oh, they were so lovely. Yeah, the guy at the border was like, oh, how long do you stay in Thailand? Oh, 30 days. In Malaysia, I give you 90 days. <laughs> It's funny, bless him. But yeah, everyone was really nice and it was such an easy border crossing. Definitely, like in the comparison yeah. to the Cambodia Lao one, it's like, yeah, it was really nice and chilled and everyone was lovely. We're but, on the other side. So we are in Malaysia, which is country number nine of this trip. Can't believe we're at number nine already. I know. It's gone so quick. Um, but we've got to yeah. wait for our taxi driver because we've, we've arrived on the other side. We've both sides of the border. But yeah, hopefully we find them. <laughs> We've arrived here at the um, Kuala Police, uh, like a ferry terminal just outside of the city. Well, we've got some good news for you and some bad news for you. So the good news is that we pre-booked our ferry tickets in advance um, a couple of days ago. Um, when I was quite surprised, Megan suggested that oh, we have a look at what ferry options we have. So I had a look at the website and um, like the ferry that we wanted to get, so the 430 one, um, it only had like 23 tickets left. And, and that I was, was like four days ago. Yeah, and I was kind of like, all right, this seems a bit weird. Like, better book on these quick just in case. So I booked us two tickets. They were we 20. Booked, 
yeah, 27. Seven ring and we booked for the last ferry of the day because we had no clue how long it was going to take. Yeah. So our ferry's at 4 30 pm. We got here at well what we thought was 2 pm. Yeah. But there's an hour time difference. Which so it's actually we didn't know. 3 pm. Um, so it's a good job we didn't become to the earlier ferry at 2 30 yeah. because we wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, so that's so those are the good things that we're going to Langkawi today. The bad thing is that the guy that we were travelling with, um, Tony. Tony, he didn't realise he had to book his ticket in advance and everything sold out for the rest of the day. So um, it just shows you, um, even though it is sort of like low season in this, this area of the world, um, that for this particular journey, you need to book well in yeah, advance. Yeah, we've seen quite a lot of tourists turn up here at the ferry port and turned away basically. So you come back tomorrow sort of thing and they'll book you a ticket for tomorrow but yeah so that's a, a so positive thing. grateful that we sorted it. Yeah we're just sat here amongst the chaos knowing that everything's all right for us. Yeah so we're gonna There's wait. There's an ATM here as well. Yes just so just outside um, if you walk back down the street towards where all the little shops are near the KFC there's um, a bank that's got an ATM so we got our money out. So then we've got a whole new currency to work with I'm now. Not. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's like six ring it to a pound, yeah. basically the rough translation. Um, we need to exchange some Thai money and then get a SIM card, but everyone we spoke to said that's fine to do like when we get over to like yeah. Cali, so we'll just do that there. But yeah, so everything's running smoothly for us, and that's <laughs> so far. But yeah. yeah so far. And also, it's not a speedboat as well, because you can get a speedboat. And you, that's what the guys were offering. They were saying, oh, if you miss the ferry, don't worry, you can get the speedboat. 1,500 ringgit. ringgit. Like 300 euros. Crazy. Um, but yeah, we're just going to wait for our, to check in for our ferry now. Also, whilst we were on the way here, we got some texts from our accommodation. Oh, yeah. Saying that they're afraid of it. So, that is cute, they seem very nice and everyone we've met here so far has been really friendly. Oh, yeah. Even the like the checkpoint army guards and whatever, they were smiling and waving at us. <laughs> which is nice compared to some other checkpoint guards and stuff yeah. like that we've met before. But yeah, we're doing good so far. We're all checked in, very easy again. It was kind of like a mini bus terminal or airport, just like what you'd expect. And um, yeah, now the ferry is like an hour and a half. Yeah, that was the only issue really, especially for me. But um, now we've got to work out a way to get to our accommodation because we've been dropped like, I don't know, a short drive probably away from where we need to be. But and we don't have a SIM card to order a grab. Yeah, so I think the plan is to go and find either some like Wi-Fi at this terminal or a restaurant that's got some Wi-Fi, either get some food or something like that and try and find a way to book a grab. But I mean, it's handy that they got a grab here at least. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So it's the following morning now, and um, we got into our accommodation last night around there around 7 p.m yeah so we left at 8 45 a.m and we got here around 7 p.m with the time difference oh yeah of course because we've jumped forwards an hour now that we're in in malaysia but when we got to the ferry port we walked across the road and got onto the kfc wi-fi booked ourselves a grab which took half an hour cost around four pounds yeah so 20 i think it was 26 um, ring it. So, I mean, the grab is a lot more reasonably priced than what it was in Thailand. I yeah. think, generally speaking, it will be a little bit of a cheaper country for us to travel in Malaysia, and especially because we haven't got to take any expensive ferry rides. But yeah, obviously, in like peak season, that journey would be a lot easier, yeah. probably cheaper. Yeah. Um, and it would only take you, what, two hours as opposed to a full day? Yeah. But you know, it's an adventure. Yeah, because the ferry 
from Langkawi cost 600 and then the two taxis cost us 800 those at each prices yeah. and then obviously the ferry to here cost 27 ringgit, ringgit. and then the grab cost um, which, uh, for both of us. us so we'll put up the the cost each as like a total of how much that cost us and then I can always put up comparing it to um, how much it would have cost in the in the peak season for the journey which would have only been a two and a half hour speedboat journey but yeah we hope you've enjoyed the video something a bit different just showing you sort of like what a realistic travel day is like border um, crossing two different countries navigating different currencies yeah lots going on but um as you can see it all went smoothly for us albeit a quite a long day but yeah we really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure to like and subscribe we and, also um, have one month here we also have one month here in the country of malaysia so if you are interested in what we have planned um, and you should be because we've got a pretty good itinerary then keep an eye out as always we'll see you in the next one